So uh, working toward compromise or on behalf of democracy is more than enough to get Republicans punished by their own party. To Chris's point, the Oklahoma Republican Party approved a resolution over the weekend condemning and censuring Senator James Lankford. Okay, just... Wait a Lankford. Th this is this is the stupidest thing. This shows you how stupid, how stupid these party leaders. This have is become. twisted, Reverend Al. They, so here is James Lankford, praised as a conservative's conservative from Oklahoma, praised by Republicans in his own caucus for putting together a compromise and putting forward the toughest border security bill in a generation. And Donald Trump says, we're against it. And now James Lankford is being censured for something that just a couple weeks ago was fine until Donald Trump said no. It shows you what a sick, sick personality cult this party's devolved into. Personality cult is exactly that, because they are going against even what they fundamentally believe in. Right. I right. mean, the bill is their kind of language, their kinds of things that they represented, that many of us would question and say to the president, well, you shouldn't do this part of it or that part. Yeah, there's a bill progressives should have they a want. problem with. That's exactly right. It's what they want. But when you're in a cult, the cult leader says no, and you don't even read the bill or think about it or consider the ramifications, it's no. Yeah. Right. And I think that's the danger that we are seeing in terms of where this party is going. And if he, God forbid, in my opinion, uh, wins the election, the country's going, it no longer goes by what we believe in. It's that we are dictated to by whatever Donald Trump says, and he sets the timetable. I need to win the election. I want to issue against Biden. Right. Right. This is a good issue, so it's no good. What a, and censor yeah. anyone that betrays me. We punish anybody that would question the leader. What a weak, enfeebled, castrated party yeah. this Republican Party is. Because if Donald Trump had said, support this bill, Oh, they would have been like they lemmings. They would have all been rushing to, so, to support not just the members, but also people that you see on Fox News, people you see on other networks. They would be saying this was the greatest bill ever. So they're centering uh, Senator James Langford once again for his role in the ongoing bipartisan border negotiations in Congress. The party's chair, who wasn't there at the time, called the resolution... Invalid. Last year, the Texas Republican Party voted to censure Congressman Tony Gonzalez after he voted for new gun safety laws following the Uvalde school shooting in his district. Michigan's GOP committee attempted to censure Congressman Peter Meyer after he voted to impeach former President Trump for inciting the deadly mob attack at the Capitol. Of course, the RNC censured two members of the... Two Republican members of the January 6th committee, Liz Cheney and Adam Kinziger, for leading what they called the persecution of ordinary citizens engaged in legitimate political discourse. Which led this is Jonathan so Amir to a riot at the United States Capitol and the death of four police officers whose families believe that those deaths all directly related to Donald Trump's riots. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in my book about that particular moment when legitimate political discourse was entered into the RNC charter to explain away the big lie and to explain away January 6th. This and the, riot the riots. And the riots, both. The, the, the riots there were deemed political discourse. And that was sort of the beginning of the full-on effort to whitewash and downplay what happened that day, which has now enabled Donald Trump to rise above it and, and, and suggest that all the investigations into it are simply uh, deep state conspiracies against him. But all of these examples, including including Lankford, who, as you say, is it votes. I mean, Oklahoma voted for Trump with a higher percentage than any other state in the nation. It is perhaps the reddest state on the map. He has been elected and reelected there. He is seen as a rock solid conservative, yeah. and yet yeah. because he dared defy Donald Trump, he. But he didn't. See, he that's didn't. the thing. He went forward, and then Trump he, changed his mind. He moved forward, <laughs> and then Trump decided to jump in. That's right. And so now they're censoring this guy whose who, who's tweets over the past three years have all been negative towards Joe Biden. Like, yes. he has been about as loyal a soldier as you can be uh, for the Republicans. But he didn't defy Donald Trump. He put out a bill 
Everybody called it the most conservative border bill in, in, in the Republican caucus uh, it, w w until Donald Trump decided he was against it. Right. A, a bill that is so conservative, as we were talking at the top of the show, that a lot of progressives are going to come out against this. The, the, right. the, there are Democrats who are opposed yep. to this bill. President Biden feels like it's the way forward, but and it had significant Republican support just a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. The Senate was lined up behind this. This was on, they were on the five yard line to get right. this done. And then Trump came out and said, no, there were always concerns about the House. But as soon as Trump came out and said, no, the Senate turned against it too. And, and even if it squeezes through there, it is dead on arrival. Well, that and, is and, and, and also Mika, because you've got a speaker that's voted for Vladimir Putin every time funding came up to try to, for the Ukrainians <laughs> to give them support to push the Russian invaders out of their country. Every time Mike Johnson has voted in a way that Putin and the Russian invaders love, uh, that hurt the people who are the freedom fighters who are trying, you know. It makes no try, sense. Trying, trying to, to liberate their country. So